With the school year coming to a close and the month of May about to end, people are excited to make their way towards summer. I know I am. But the important thing to acknowledge is that the month of May was actually Mental Health Awareness Month. Through the many strenuous activities conducted over the school year, I know that at times many of us felt as if our own mental health was worsening. Hi, my name is Rohan, live on the Healthy Human Podcast. In this episode, we will be discussing mental health and techniques to make sure that your mental health stays stable. On my very first episode of the podcast series, I discussed mental health and a basic overview about it. In this episode, I plan on elaborating on certain things said in those episodes, discussing methods I used throughout the school year to keep my mental health in check and ways you can keep your own mental health in check. Well, what is mental health? According to Google, it represents a person's condition with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being. Well, let's examine each part of that. Our psychological well-being consists of hedonics, which includes enjoyment and pleasure, and edonomics, which includes meaning and fulfillment. Our emotional well-being is the emotional quality of an individual's experience, otherwise known as our ability to produce positive emotions or, and or moods. Using this definition of mental health, we can establish a baseline to understand what measures need to be taken in order to ensure good mental health. So what methods have I done in order to improve my own mental health? Out of the many methods I had tried, I found that talking with someone about my own mental health helped me in improving it. I found that when I talked to anyone, whether it be a friend, family member, teacher, or even to myself, that it gave me a sense of reassurance, as if in the end everything would be okay. It is important to recognize that it doesn't necessarily need to be only talking to the person while during this process. What I mean by this is you can do other things while talking to your peers. I personally love to go on walks with my parents while talking about such delicate matters. On that note, I also found taking breaks and doing stuff that distracts your mind from any tasks that act as stressors helped a lot with not only my own mental health, but I found that it helped me be more productive when I came back to the task. This can work on homework, projects, and even studying for tests. However, this is not analogous to procrastinating. Taking minute breaks with a continuous flow in between them will overall benefit you in the long run. Another method that worked for me was practicing meditation. Every day when I came home from school, I would take 10 to 15 minutes doing a guided meditation that I found on YouTube. Through this, I was able to calm any nerves that I had and relax before a big event or doing a task. Meditation also allowed me to indirectly practice mindfulness. To those who are unfamiliar with this, mindfulness is a type of meditation in which you are focusing on being aware of what you're experiencing around you, whether it be sensing or feeling something, without any interpretation or judgment. Mindfulness allowed me to have a more holistic approach to my mental health, and I felt better about a lot of things that I didn't know I could feel better about. For the last part of this video, I would like to talk about the month itself. The month was recognized by the USA in 1949. The purpose of this month was to raise awareness of those living with mental or behavioral health issues and to help reduce the stigma so many experience. A lot of people, globally in fact, fail to go to the doctor or to people in general usually due to the stigma against mental health. Oftentimes when disregarded, these mental health issues can lead to serious consequences. The purpose of this month is not only to acknowledge these mental health issues, but to spread awareness and give people the help they need when they're going through these tough times. Once again, this has been Rohan, live on the Healthy Human Podcast. Be sure to tune into the next episode where I'll continue to explore the wonderful world of health. Until next time, remember happiness is the product of good health, and have a great summer.